Hey, what's going on guys? Sub here, and welcome back to episode 3 of our Minecraft Journeys survival series. We have a lot of people on right now, and I got a lot of plans, so I want to jump right into them today. So, if you can look at my inventory right now, uh, you can see all the materials that we're going to be using for today's project. Today's project is actually a pretty big one. We're going to be building an automatic bee farm, fully automatic. We're going to get honey, honeycombs, everything we need. Now, in between videos, I've done a little bit more mining, got a bunch of redstone iron, and didn't find like any diamonds. I actually spent a bunch of diamonds because obviously we have this gear which I got for free, very generous, and I've made this entire set of diamond tools, and I still can't run iron pickaxe, and I spent eight diamonds at the new shopping district which everyone's been making at spawn, and I plan on taking part in today to buy a mending book. It costs eight diamonds, pretty steep, but. Combine that with a silk touch, I managed to fish up in between videos, and we get this, a silk touch mending pickaxe. And the reason I wanted silk touch is because we gotta obviously take these beehives. So at nighttime, when there's three bees or more in these things, which there are bees spawning, so there should be three in there at night, we're gonna pick them up, and we are going to be perfect. Because then we're gonna have the bees needed to build the bee farm. Now, to start off this bee farm, you're going to be taking part in this area right here. This area I'm a big fan of that we got going right here because we have an excellent view and we have obviously a lot of room to work with. So I'm planning on making this pretty big, I'm thinking up to here and then just out more because these automatic redstone farms are going to take up a good amount of room, like a good good amount of room. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to begin excavating this area. And yeah, that should come out pretty nice. Alright guys, we're back, and we're actually in the main village area, which I don't believe I've showed you before. Basically, this is where most other people are living on the realm. We got a few things here. A lot of villagers over there and there. Uh, nether portal, bar, uh, map, mine. This is basically where they've all been. They got their homes here as well. What's in here? Yeah, this is just someone's home. I'm not going to bother them. Uh, animal pens. They got a bunch of stuff in here. And they also have a lot of shops, so I'm here because I actually need to buy some stuff. So there's an ice and snow shop, uh, pretty good. It sells packed ice. A wool shop, I actually did buy from this earlier. It's pretty good. Uh, one stack for four iron. We got a custom banner shop, a enchantment shop. I actually put business in here, and I bought this mending book. I bought one mending book for eight diamonds. Probably not worth it, but whatever. Let me quickly disable chat, because they want me to be in the call with them while I record, but yeah, that normally ends badly. So we're here because we need to go over to the hardware store, which is actually one of the cooler stores. Um, Coal, gravel, it's one of them in here. Stone, really that. wood, sand. Uh, here we go, here we go. Half stack quartz or two stacks of netherrack. Two iron. Yo, I'm buying, buying all of this. That is a great deal. Then we can also buy stand. Um, I'm actually gonna buy two stacks of sand because we do need glass bottles for this farm. Uh, we got a food, f uh, food shop over here, and I plan on building the bee shop here as well. So that should go pretty well. Anyway, we gotta head back through the nether portal now to get back to our base, because I've dug out the area, I have everything in place. I just gotta build the farms, on camera obviously. I want you guys to know how to build these too, in case you're curious, so. Pretty sure it's a good idea to show you how to build the farms, considering it's all the purpose of the video. And then next episode, we're gonna be, well, for the bee-themed shop, uh, I actually want to use the, um, honeycomb blocks, this portal? I'm already, I already don't know what portal I'm going into. So, I want to use the new honeycomb blocks for these shops, because I feel like that would look good. Yeah, here we are. We're at the village, which is actually really close to our house, we just gotta run over there. So, I've managed to get all the dispensers and everything, I just need to buy the cords for the comparators. And that also means I gotta make some redstone torches. But with our silk touch pick, getting stones pretty easy. And now I have mending on it, I gotta really work on an XP farm. Something, something easy. Like an AFK. Maybe AFK fishing, just holding it in my offhand. That would work. I don't think eight 
uh, diamonds was worth it for a mending book, but I kind of do need it. I, we gotta remove that giant ice penis. Like, seriously, who builds... <laughs> I know who did it. I know who did it. They want me to give them Corona, apparently. So we're just gonna head up here. And here we go. This is the area I've dug out. I've decorated it a bit. And everything is here that we need. I've also grabbed all the bees' nest. I got the total bee location achievement, which is nice. Meaning, one of these nests has three bees. Although they all should have bees in them. If not, I'm gonna have to go put them outside, get some bees. So we're gonna need a lot of this so i'm on two for now that's good that's fine that's fine so to start off these farms we're gonna have to do something fairly simple two chests uh i mean chests with hoppers on top two dirt blocks in front with big flower small flower now i'm using a design i saw uh this youtuber named zoomavoid use uh I will leave a link, but whenever I say I do that, I don't, so figure out how to spell his name. Uh, next, we're going to put the bees nests uh, on top, but I'm actually going to put a placeholder, because until we're done with the farm, I don't exactly want to place it in. I also want to see if I can move these back a bit. Then we're going to have a block. We are going to have a comparator. We're going to have... Something like that. We're going to have we break all this, that, and then that. And then on top of that, we're just putting redstone. And this actually goes to the roof, which is fine. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. That is exactly how you want this to be. Five. Now that should be facing down. Should be. I should probably get some sort of scaffolding we can use here. Yep, that's facing down. And it seems I could move these farms back one, but for now, I think this works pretty well. We can just come in here and the chests. So, this is basically the thing. So, the beehives have... This is how the farm works. So, put the beehives there, the bees pollinate, they go back in. Now, before the hive is fully honeyed, it has five different levels, levels one through five, each emitting, obviously, a redstone signal of one through five. So at five, it's full. So basically, this works is the comparator detects the output from the beehive through this block, because it can do that. So it detects the output from that through the block. So if it's honey level one, honey level two, honey level three, honey level four, and then honey level five, activating the piece of redstone right here, that when that block's powered, it's going to activate the dispenser, which this is going to be full of glass bottles. Where it's gonna shoot out a glass bottle into the beehive, then it's gonna the honey bottle's gonna go into the hopper. We're gonna get in here. Now, of course, I'm thinking three of these be the honey bottles because that's one at a time, and then these last two, these are gonna be uh, these are gonna be something else. These are gonna be the uh, the shears, uh, which gives us the honeycombs. A lot better to get there, and we kind of need the honeycombs, so. We just gotta basically copy this circuit now, all the way through. It's a pretty simple circuit. I'm actually just gonna run this across because, yeah. Now, I didn't realize these were, I, I could have moved these one closer together, I realized, but I guess if it works, it works. So we just gotta build up the rest of these Add in the comparator, add in the redstone. Now, interesting thing, it actually does have to be slabs here because it can go up like that without obstructing it with full blocks. Then we gotta get all the redstone in. We gotta get like that. So that's all in. Next one, like that, we gotta get this in. It's a really easy build. I'm gonna have to go out and get more resources for the comparators.
which does seem to be a small problem because I only have enough sticks on me for two. Do we have any more wood with us, actually? Oh, we do. Perfect. I'm going to turn the rest of these into sticks, and we're going to make the rest of this stuff. Let's just make 12, 12 torches. That should be enough. Put them in. And that's five right there. Let's go. So this one's all set up. I just gotta actually head up here to grab it. So let me just... Actually, let's put in these dispensers. Oh. Boop. We can do it all from down here. I don't really need anything above them that's off by one putting in the redstone it's not a difficult build it's a fairly it's a fairly easy one it just requires a little bit of resources which luckily we have plenty of Oh, we have our light source there. Perfect. That should all be in. And Perfect. We're just going to put in the light source right there. And that is all the farms constructed, minus the beehive, of course. Now, last step... is putting in the finishing touches. Actually, no, there's one more step because we gotta do a little bit of weird building techniques here. Now my idea is we're gonna have a little, I gotta move this wall out a bit, of course, because we obviously don't have enough room, but I'm gonna need some trapdoors. I like spruce trapdoors, so we're gonna build some spruce trapdoors. Also, this is using most of the wood I have there we go, there's six. Then, I do need sticky pistons, but I think I can manage without them. So let me just go up one. So, let me show you how we exactly build this. So, what he had is right in front of the... Hang on. No, this is right. I just got to quickly remember how it looked. Um, yeah, no. I see, I see. He had a trap door. Oh, hang on. That's wrong. Trap door right. Pushed in. Oh, where's that place? Nope. I might need a piston for this. Because he had a trap door right there where that flower is. I might have to make a piston for this. Do we have any? Yeah. I, I should have the resorts for this. We should just be able to push, push it. Push, push it. Push it into place. Uh, I only need one piston right now. Which is... Oh, wait, no. It's one on top. My bad. There we go. Now, in theory... If I did this, glass block there, glass block here, and we just make stone button, that pushes it up. Huh. So it seems they either patch this feature or we are going to have to try a sticky piston. Now, I'm just going to stick to this because I feel that this should work fine. I'm going to leave this one. Oh, not that. It's not what I want to do. 
I can replace the beehives in there fairly easily. I just gotta make sure they're covered on both sides because I don't want bees getting out. That would be pretty bad. Let me just make sure these are all covered. I don't know if I have to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna walk through here. So this one should be, in theory, fully operational. Now, all I need to do is make sure the beehive faces out this way and that we can get some glass bottles, so it's pretty easy. Or we could do shears for that one, who knows. Uh, that trap door thing I'll keep in mind. I'll see if I can find another way to do it, but until then, I think this is going to be our bee farm design. Just getting some stuff down first, because this is what we need to do. So obviously, this is a pretty confusing room. I'm definitely going to have to make it a bit bigger, but this is enough to fit the farms, so we should be good. Now the question is, do I want to connect this to our cave base or keep it like another separate area? I don't really know, um, but this should should be good. I mean, it's going to be producing the resources while we're working at our base, and I have a lot more plans coming up. Um, so I suppose that's it. The last thing to do would to be to put in the bees. Obviously, that's going to be the hard part. So back here... I'm going to lower the floor level, I think, a tiny bit, and we are going to have to build a little. Yeah, I got to expand this room a bit. That's definitely something we're going to have to do. So all the glass is in, all the farms are in place. The last step is the bee nests and the glass, uh, the glass bottles. Now the glass bottles are going to be a tricky one because I don't fully know how much stuff we can make. What? And two. I'll go by stacks. I should be able to make quite a few glass bottles. That should be enough for maybe one, two dispensers. Anyway, I suppose we'll start far back here. This, that down, we're gonna put these nests, glass. Yes, that did activate. And no bees are gonna come out, obviously because it's night right now, but I heard the dispenser go, which is a good sign. I, what if I did a half stack? Half stack should be enough to begin. Now I'm actually gonna have to manually. Boom. One honey bottle. Now with honey you can turn it to sugar, but we're not here for sugar. But that is our first honey bottle product. The entire assembly line works. Um, I'm obviously going to have to get all those bottles. Okay, so these last two aren't going to be... What if I spread this out by three? Just... Yeah, we can put more glass bottles in. So you're up to five. You're up to five. Then you are going to be up to five. And then we got all this for the... Oh, See, all these slots have to be full, otherwise when the honey bottle comes out, we're going to have problems. So let's go to seven maybe for you. Yep, so that's a good amount. That's a good amount. We just got to put in the rest, the two other bee nests, really, because the other one, I'm going to have to grab out some iron. I got to make a bunch of shears, so that's what? It has a slot of nine, so that's nine, 18 different shears which I'm one short there. So, to begin, what we're gonna do, same thing. 
over here. And then over here as well. So that's already a few honey bottles in the stash. Obviously. So it's three honey bottles. Perfect. Now I could make it so that all of these go into one central chest, but I like seeing how much. Now with the honey bottles stacking up to, uh, Shears ones are going to obviously last for a lot longer because that's durability based, but still annoying. Now this one, if there's no more bees. Like I said, I'm just going to leave these outside. Bees will spawn. Problem solved now. I'll do the same over here. This is why I love Silk Touch. It's just so easy. So easy to get things. We got our first batch of resources. What what did she what advancement? What advancement am I missing? Husbandry. Yeah, here it is. No. Just total be location. Oh. Use a campfire to collect honey for beehives using a bottle without it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that one. I haven't also... I never use shields. I need to do a lot. Got a lot more advancements to go. So this is our honey farm. Fully operational. Like I said, next video we're going to be working on our honey theme shop because we should have more resources by then. I'm also going to be connecting this up to our main base a bit and obviously working out the kinks of this area with it not being big enough at the moment. And I'll probably, you know, the flat roof for this area, I'll allow it just because. Or I can make it dome upwards and add some wool for a nice touch, but yeah, this is definitely going to have to go out a bit more because I need to be able to walk through here. I want to make a little pathway with stone. But yeah, this entire build came out amazing. We have five five individual honey farms working i could make more i just don't have the stuff right now like i i just don't i physically don't have the beehives i don't have the comparators we could always make more i just haven't found enough beehives maybe make one more just honeycomb one just to fix this a bit but yeah but yeah so we got a few things lined up obviously an xp farms up there because Obviously, we got mending tools now, and I'm going to have to make more. He's two more mending books. I'm able to purchase one more. I don't really have a use for another one right now. Like a sword, axe, shovel. Don't really need mending on him. Maybe the shovel, because I do need a lot of sand for this build. Uh, but we got all our bottles in. We got most of our shears in. If that dispenser stocks up with the honeycombs, that's fine as well. I'll just have to put in some extra work taking it out. But yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button down below. It helps out the channel a lot. Subscribe for more content. I try to make a video every other day. Oh, but... <laughs> but I've been trying to... Um, I've been thinking about streaming over the weekends. Uh, maybe this, maybe not this. I got a lot of things going around in my mind. Um, I kind of took a big break from YouTube. Because if you look at my channel, that Destiny thing... That was me not really knowing what to do, and it was just all live streams. I didn't put any effort into actually making videos, but I want to get back in and make videos. Editing my videos is a lot of fun, and I get a lot of fun with it. I wish these were spread out one more because it's slightly bothering me, but it'll work. So we have, what, that's six honeycombs and then three honey bottles, so. Obviously, I got a lot of work cut out for me. Dig the tunnel, it'll probably just be over here going down. Shouldn't be too difficult, but yeah. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.